Well, it's remarkable, but it is true. The federal government is now admitting that welfare recipients can buy marijuana with their benefit money in states where marijuana shops are legal. Responding to Alabama Senator Jeff Sessions' inquiry on the issue, HHS Secretary Sil Sylvia Burwell wrote this, HHS, HHS, Health and Human Services, has no authority to prescribe policies and practices for the states to implement in order to prohibit the use of benefits cards at marijuana stores. Well, Colorado State Representative Liz, Liz, Libby Sabo says the state's hands are tied because they can't legislate a federal program. Wow. We have uh, more. Uh, Libby, thanks for joining us this morning. I'm not sure. Thanks for I, having I, me. I understand how this works. So the state of Colorado has now been informed officially by the federal government. It is up to it, your state, to ban this practice, the use of federal money for, for marijuana. And the state hasn't acted yet on it? Why? Well, I'm not sure why the state hasn't acted in it. Back in July, um, they said they were promulgating a new rule that would add it to the department's already banning of EBT cards being used at liquor stores and strip clubs and those type of establishments. Um, but we all know that those EBT cards and the federal funds and the taxpayer dollars that go to that are to be used for food that provide nutri nutritional value. Well, it's so insulting to taxpayers, obviously, who are paying for this, but it's also insulting to the idea of charity, the idea that we help the very neediest people who are hungry, who need food. I mean, this, this, this insults the, the concept of welfare. Exactly. It does insult the taxpayer that we're, um, the federal government is actually taking their hard-earned dollars to provide entertainment and recreational used marijuana. It's, it, it's appalling, actually. I think if we uh, went to the streets of Denver and asked people, would you allow your tax dollars to be used to provide marijuana for people, uh, I think they'd give a resounding no. So, but, I, but I'm always amazed by how unoffended certain lawmakers seem when stories like this come out, stories of shocking waste and abuse of public funds. It's like they're not bothered. So Governor Hickenlooper, for example, the governor of Colorado, has he come out and issued a statement on this? You know, he has not. He has not issued that I know of any type of statement. He, um, it's very interesting because when we were, when the initiative was in play in Colorado, Governor Hickenlooper said he was against it. But from um, what I know, he also took a bunch of money from the recreational marijuana people to run his uh, campaign this year. So there's kind of a disconnect there. But, you know, in last year, uh, a couple lawmakers, my colleagues, Representative Dan Nordberg and Senator Vicki Marble ran a bill that would prohibit this. And the Senate Democrats killed that bill. Yeah, but the, no matter where you are in legalizing marijuana or prohibiting marijuana, I mean, the principle remains the same. I, as someone with a job, shouldn't have to pay for your weed or your breast implants or your Newports or your 12-pack of Milwaukee's <laughs> yes. Best or whatever. It's for food, and that's all it's for. Exactly. You know, it's for food uh, for, for you and the, nutri you know, the people who... Um, to have these cards and for their children, to feed their children, not to use for uh, alcohol, weed, and all these other types of entertainment. Um, that's just not appropriate. No. And it just makes people super cynical about government, you know, in the end. Libby, thanks a lot for joining us this exactly. morning. Exactly. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me.